Well, the end of February marks the end of Black History Month, and tonight we're highlighting the civil rights movement of the 1960s. One Jacksonville man recently won a humanitarian award for his work during the movement from the Lincoln Douglas Memorial Emancipation Proclamation Association. And he was a part of Jacksonville's own history during the movement. On Your Size, Haley Harrison shares his story. On a corner in the east side, there's a reminder of one of the darkest days in Jacksonville's history. Lead him in the path to writing for his namesake. Yeah, but every day, Quilly Jones okay. walks around with his own. Two things, painful and a reminder. Painful and a reminder, very much so. Yeah, but that's okay. We had a, we had a goal, we had a goal that we wanted to accomplish. And uh, I think we accomplished some of it. He lives with a permanent knee injury after he was beaten on Axe Handle Saturday. Maybe 20 Axe Hounds in a group on each bench. And the Axe Hound had a sign, uh, free Axe Hound beat diggers. And uh, we knew what they was doing. We, we, we saw, those, saw those and it being everywhere, all over here, everywhere. Jones was a part of the local NAACP Youth Council during the civil rights movement in the 1960s. And they, you know, hit me all on my knees and my back and you name it. They, and and we, we, we didn't have no problem with that. Only thing we wanted to be served. Jones participated in a number of protests opposing racial segregation called sit-ins. Protesters would go into restaurants surrounding the downtown square, now James Weldon Johnson Park, and refused to leave until they were served. He says he was denied a cup of coffee day after day but he and other protesters always came back to try again. Dr. King taught us, you never be bitter. Never be bitter. Always forgive and it come back to you. Jones says Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. inspired him to move to Jacksonville for the movement. He first met Dr. King while in school at Fort Valley State College in Georgia. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Now, Jones watches today's black youth hold their own protests. Yes, I reminisce. We gotta fix it. We're not stopping until we get justice. Do you think we've reached the equality that you were looking for back in the 60s, or do you think we have a ways to go? We have a way to go. We were en route, but we have a way to go. To walk the streets and be recognized and respected as a human being. That's all Dr. King ever wanted, us to be recognized as a human being. In Jacksonville, I'm Healy Harrison, First Coast News, on your side.